Hey there friends, I want to show you something really special, vscode.dev. You just go in here and once you hit this address, what will happen, it will load Visual Studio code inside of your browser. So why is that huge? Well, imagine that you don't have to download it in the first place, right? But I bet you're saying, well, this is not going to work, right? It's not going to give me a real IDE, right? Well, yes and no. Because at first look, it looks like what you're only getting is a text editor, but it's not true. So let's have a look here. Let's have a look in the extension. So now I'm filtering on install extensions. And by adding code swing, I get support for running JavaScript in here. And by adding Pyodide and, and Jupyter Notebook, I get support for notebooks. I bet you're saying at this point, hey, Chris, are you making this up? Can I really go to vscode.dev and, and run things? Can I actually run code in here? Yes, you can, and I will show you. So here I've created app.js and I'm running it. You see my terminal, right? It's able to log that out. Also, I have got a notebook for you. If you're into Python, if you're into notebooks, you know that uh, notebooks are a mixture of having markdown and code elements. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you here. By hitting the play button, it actually ran Python code and it did that in my browser. I've got no install. Everything is in the web. Everything is in the browser. So what are you waiting for? Go to vscode.dev and just keep on working with your projects. So this is how you start out, right? vscode.dev, you say to open a folder or you open a repo. And that repo could be some kind of GitHub link. So Azure repo, GitHub or pull request. So you can see there are quite a few things in there for you to use. And yeah, or you could be opening a folder at which case it's going to go to your local machine and ask you to open up that directory, which I've done here. I've opened one of my directory. But don't forget what I said. Install CodeSwing, install PyDyle, install Jupyter Notebook, and you suddenly have the capability to both run JavaScript and Python in your browser. There you go. If you like this video, please consider giving it a like or a comment. I would greatly appreciate a subscribe. So now you know it, friends. VSCode.dev, everything super easy. It's ready for you to use. So go and use it.